What's up, Western Iowa Tech students? I have another special guest. Now, here it is. Who said a woman cannot be a mentor for a dude, right? And this is a perfect example of that. Uh, Dr. Julene Albert, our Vice President of Learning at Western Iowa Tech. How you doing, lady? I'm doing great. And are you calling me a mentor of you? Because if that's the case, I feel very honored. Oh, heck to the Thanks. yes. Yeah, you know, I've been working with you for 20 years and you've been my boss in some kind of capacity. You know, I like your, you know, you are a, and I don't mean to offend you by this, but you are a workaholic. You know, some people can, can take that negatively, but I don't because it's for students, right? It's kind of where I'm at. Well, too. you know, and right now I gotta tell you something, without the students here in this building where I am, I, there's not a lot of joy. Yeah. <laughs> I have stuff to do, but it's paperwork and it's yeah. reports and things. I miss the students. I yeah. really miss the students. And you yeah. know, I and and I don't know. You know, I don't know uh, the the brass at other community colleges. I just don't know that. But as for our brass here at Western Iowa Tech, I think they thrive off of the students, right? If there's no students around, yeah. Yeah. I think it's just kind of a downer. You know, and I and I hope I can speak for all of the community colleges, right? Mm -hmm. So um, I can't wait. Anybody watching this, I can't wait to see you back on campus. We really amen. miss you a lot. That's yeah. what's up, and we so much want to have you on campus, but you know, we got to take it easy and make sure that we put the students' right. life first. You know, now don't get it twisted. Mm -hmm. Every time I've been up to Western Iowa Tech, uh, Dr. Albert and Dr. Merle has always been there. And there's some um, so there's some fixtures around Western Iowa Tech that's been uh, been there from the get go, right? So there are still people up on campus, um, so they are still doing their thing. So so Julie, what I wanted, you know, we talked before, and um, we know that students need to start registering for classes, right? right. They don't have much to do, you know. Uh, their jobs probably not working out for them yeah. right now. So the best time to do, I think, is study. Yeah, I was, I was thinking, in fact, about what's going on in the world, and I thought, you know, now is the time, more than ever, now is the time, really, for people to think about going to community college, and they probably aren't thinking now is the time, but there's a lot of reasons why this should be the time to change your life and to get a degree from a community college, of course, to get a degree from Western Iowa Tech Community College. I think one of the reasons we, many of us have heard about the Last Dollar Scholarship for students in the state of Iowa. Mo many, many programs that we have right now are fully funded through the Last Dollar Scholarship. You need to pay for some books and maybe a couple extra expenses, but your tuition is paid for through that scholarship. So that's incredible. Um, if you've been thinking about going to school in an area where there's a high demand for jobs, now's the time because those are the programs that are paid for through the Last Dollar Scholarship right now Today, there's not a high demand for jobs. As soon as this ends, as soon as this opens up, I expect things are gonna to begin to explode. So you wanna prepare now and get ready to go to school in the fall. You know, and I feel that students got this build up. I, I, I got a feeling when we do get on campus, we're gonna have a new, um, a, a new gratefulness if, that, if, that, if I can say that, about just having the opportunity yeah. to be on campus and bettering ourselves. Yeah. So. I, yeah, you, you got any more you want to share moment. with us? What'd you say, Julie? Yeah, I said I hope we have a, all have a new gratefulness about a lot yeah. of things. Yeah. Things that we've taken for granted for our whole lives, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so I was also thinking, um, I mean, you've been in this business almost as long as I have, Mike. So over the last 20 years that we've worked together, when we talk to students, prospective students, and we say, hey, why don't you come back to college? What do they say? Oh, yeah, 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 I want to do that someday, but I'm just too busy. Yeah. I got the kids, I got the job, I got the yeah. little league, I got... And honestly, we can't use that excuse anymore, right? Yeah. I don't care if you're 18, I don't care if you're 55, 60 years old. You, you really can't use that excuse right now because even if you're still working, even if you get up and go to work every day, so many things are cut out of your life. Yeah. They have to be cut out of yeah. your life. Yeah. So you have so much less to do than you used to do. Uh, now's the time then, right, to yeah. occupy yourself. Occupy yourself with something good that's going to help you grow. It's going to help you potentially in the job market. It's 
going to help you to make a better, have a better uh, living and living wage after this is over. But it's also going to expand your mind. How yeah. much uh, TV are you watching? How many, how many series are you binge watching right now? How many video games are you playing? Uh, even my little seven-year-old grandson yesterday, I noticed, he finally just got to the point where he's just staring off into space. Bored, <laughs> ran out of things to do. Uh, sick of video games, sick yeah. of TV, running around in circles. And, and I think that that's the case. We're, we're tired, we're bored, we need something to do. No more excuses about being too busy. Now's the time. You know, and that's what I love about you. You know, that is raw. You know, there's so many people that would take that, what you just said, and, and kind of skate around it, you know, and skate around it. And, and But, you know, I like it how you just say, hey, you have no excuse, right? Uh, we want you to come out of this thing better than you went in it, right? And I think that's what you're trying right. to say. Right. Better than we went in. Yep. Yep. So I and know another thing I was more. Thinking. I said, yeah. I know oh, you yeah. got more. I I do. So another thing I was thinking about is, you know, everybody talks about having the gap year after after high school. And more and more, I've been hearing about the gap year now yeah. because of the state of uncertainty we're in. Yeah, I better take a gap year. I better take a gap year. So how about instead of a gap year, you take a gap filler and you fill <laughs> that gap here at Western Air Tech. So maybe you don't want to go so far away from home because you don't know what's going to happen. You've heard of potentially right. we could get hit again in the fall or in the winter. Maybe you, maybe that insecurity makes you want to stay closer to home. But don't take a gap here. Take a gap filler and fill in that gap at Western Iowa Tech. You can take a whole year's worth of courses. You can take your classes online. Get those classes knocked out. Now, Julie, I never really asked this before, but there's always been you know, a rumor here and there around Western Iowa Tech that we have so much scholarships that, you know, there's leftover money, right? Like we don't have enough people applying for these scholarships, right? So not only do you need to fill the gap, but we hopefully will have money for you to fill the gap with, you know, so that would be an awesome thing. Of course, the Iowa tuition, uh, uh, last dollar scholarship that I just spoke about, there are other funding sources, including don't forget about federal financial aid. We have scholarship money. Yeah. yeah Reach man. out to us and we can help you. That's yeah. what's up. So, you know, I was thinking of another thing. And I think that this is really an important thing. This, this I've come to just by watching and observing what's going on in the country. And I'm sure you've come to the same conclusion. But the people who are what we call essential workers are... The people we train. Yeah. Uh, wow. The nurses. Wow. The CNAs, the search tech folks, EMT. the electricians, the plumbers, the EMTs, yeah. the, the welder. welders. Welders. So I have a relative who's welding and he's considered an essential employee. You know why? Because he's welding parts for trucks, for transportation, and for agriculture. He's got to keep working. So we really do, uh, we really do train people for the essential jobs in society. If wow. this ever hits again, future students, wow. you want to be an essential worker. Right. You want to be out there making a difference in people's lives, keeping the economy going. You know, and I, I really never thought about that, but it was right in front of my face the whole time. I and mean, when you said it, it was just like, light bulb. Uh, yeah, like, duh. <laughs> yeah, we do uh, educate uh, those uh, first line responders and stuff. That is, um, wow, I'm a little prouder right now, right? Um, a little prouder. Yeah. Um, so, so moving on, you sure you don't have anything else you want to share with us about why you should register for classes? Well, the regular reasons, right? The usual reasons, what are they, Mike? They are- The usual the, reasons, Mike. Yeah, to increase your, your wage, right? Um, I believe to expand your horizons as far as your learning. Um, and, um, and I would say to stop from working a job that you don't want to work, right? It can, uh -huh. it can, it can get you better. It can, and, and I, and, and here it is, I'm not saying nothing. I, maybe I'm overstepping my boundaries, but when you have a degree, right, or a good job, right? And that could be a two year or a four year, whatever, you are really looking good on the market, right? For, for, That's right. for dating, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, oh. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You could become a catch, yeah. right? 
So, <laughs> all right. Yeah, so, those are all great reasons. No, those are really great reasons, Meg. Yeah, even the last one. Um, yeah. I just, you know, I, I think uh, th those reasons combined with the reasons that I shared earlier, because the reasons I shared earlier really are, are specific to this time. And, uh, and if people are having doubt in their mind, eh, I should wait till, till times are better or, or times are more certain. No, now's the time. Now's all right. Time. Well, I want to make yeah. uh, two more statements right here. Uh, one is I right. like the ambiance behind you, right? I like the artwork yeah. behind you. And I'm just telling the people that are yeah. watching this, none of that stuff probably came from America, right? That's it. No. from all over the country, uh, not over the country, but all over the world that I have traveled with this, with this awesome lady with. So that was, uh, just wanted to point that out. And the next thing I would say- The very last through Western Aerotech to be yeah. able to take students on trips every year. Uh, yeah. Over 600 students have traveled with Mike and I and um, with me and, uh, you know, to, to experience those life-changing moments with students has been a real blessing. That's crazy. That's just, that's just nuts. I mean, just the fact that we have that opportunity. Now, now I'm good. What I'm going to do, Julie, I'm going to put you on a spot, put you on uh, a spot, right? And, and if you could, if you can sum up in a couple sentences, if you had one more thing and you couldn't say nothing else to a Western Iowa Tech student but these two or three sentences, what would that be? I'll give you a little time to think, you know. <laughs> I, I just, I wanna say again, now's the time, guys. Put away your fears, put away your struggles and your uh, self-doubts that you have and get on the phone and register. You know, many of us have gone through those same self-doubts and those same fears about going to school. Yeah. And, uh, and you'll be very surprised that you can make it and that there is a better life for you out there in the future yeah. with uh, a more uh, sustainable income and it's not all about the money. It's also about the change that happens in you as a person. Wow. As you get an education and feel better about yourself. Wow. Wow. Uh, yeah, I must say that was some uh, good advice. Um, again, you guys, we're... we're uh, I've heard you give that advice a hundred times. Yeah. I copied you, know, you I think. It, it, I hear it, you give it daily. You know, and, and I wanted to, to leave your, your thoughts with this. Okay, so, so Dr. Albert, Julie Albert, told me something a long time ago. Um, and of course, you know, WIT is a great place, but also you work, and you, you don't work, but you go home and you live a, a regular life, right? And sometimes there's issues in that regular life, and sometimes it's hard to let it go, right? And um, Julie pu pulled me into her office before because she knew I was, something wasn't right, right? And uh, you told me that a man or woman is rich in proportion that they can afford to let things alone, right? And I thought to myself, you know, that means let people say what they're going to say, you know, as long as you know that what you're doing is right and you're okay and you can look at yourself in the mirror, then, then let them talk, right? Uh, the, the positive and the negative, right? And I have taken that and, I, and that has grown me um, as, as a dude, right? Did I just say dude? As a man. <laughs> Anyway, I just wanted to leave the listeners with that. Um, Dr. Albert, we're so uh, thankful for uh, what you do for um, the college. And I, I know that you're doing things for the Sioux City Community School System. Um, so your reach is, uh, goes off of our campus. And I think that is an awesome thing. So um, I want my students to say this is I want them to know this is, hey, be social, but at the same time, be distant. And I hope you guys uh, stay safe. And Dr. Albert, you stay safe. And I will see you. And on please, the everybody, when you see me, call me Julie. Right. You know, you and Dr. Murrow would be doing that. You know, I just think that if you went to school and you, and you went that PhD, you know, Lord only knows what you had to go through to get that. You know, I just try to give you that respect. That's all, you know. But it is what it is. All right. Uh, 
Love you. Have a good rest of the day. You stay safe, Julie. And um, students, we got that virtual graduation coming up on the 14th of May. I expect y'all all to participate. Right. Okay. Peace, right. Julie. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>